closer. Um, these are the new balls available from the uh, from the clubhouse as part of the new Trump Turnbury range. And I forgot to hand them out before. I'm very sorry, Mr. Trump. And thank you. I apologise. My bad. Thank you. Uh, Go and get a me. job and a haircut. You can uh, hand them out. Go and get a job and a haircut. Pick some of this and go and change. Oh, yeah. 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 Sorry, Mr. Trump, I meant to. Okay, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And this is an amazing honor. It's an amazing day, very historic day for a lot of reasons. Not only Turnberry, this was one of the big votes in the history of Europe and Scotland and everywhere. Uh, it was very exciting coming in and we were landing and we had just heard the results. So I wish everybody a lot of luck. I think that it's uh, purely historic and what's happening is uh, historic. So. Uh, it's an honor to be with you. My mother was born in Scotland, in Stornoway. She loves Scotland. She would be here a lot. She would come every year with my sister, Marion, and my sister, Elizabeth. And uh, they just loved it. Uh, her loyalty to Scotland was incredible. Uh, she respected and loved the Queen. And uh, she loved the ceremony and the pomp, pomp and circumstance. And uh, she was something special. And to think that uh, we'd be here owning Turnberry one day would be incredible. Uh, she would come to Turnberry with her friends and uh, they'd have dinner at Turnberry. She didn't play golf, but they'd have dinner at Turnberry. So having uh, taken this hotel and, and done the job that we've done with it is uh, just an honor that I was given the opportunity. Uh, we bought it about four and a half years ago. Uh, the uh, town council has been incredible. The uh, Local politicians and all of the politicians all throughout have been absolutely incredible. Uh, they have proved virtually everything that we asked for. We asked for the right things, but the approval process, because it's so historic, it had to go through many different layers, but every single thing that we wanted, they agreed that they thought it was good, and in some cases, great. Uh, we've taken the lighthouse, which is a very, very important building in Florida, I mean, in uh, Scotland, and we've, uh, we've taken that building and made it uh, something really special. Inside the lighthouse right now is uh, incredible suites, and it's called the halfway house, because this is the ninth key, and it's called the halfway house, and uh, on the bottom you have dining, and uh, golfers will stop, and they'll go and get something to eat, and then they go into the tenth hole, tenth key right next door. So the uh, lighthouse, and it was in disrepair, and all of the people from landmark scotland and all of the people that we had to go through uh, were i just thank you because it was a it was a long difficult process getting that approved but they really wanted to see it at the highest level and, and now it's really at a higher level than it ever was and uh, when you see i don't know if you'll get the chance but if you do you should try and get to see the suites because they are two of the most beautiful suites you'll ever see and you know when the water's rough today it's very calm in fact i've almost never seen it like this but <laughs> Uh, sometimes you have waves that are literally crashing onto this piece of land that we're standing on. It's one of the most beautiful sights you'll ever see. Uh, this hall didn't exist. Uh, the Royal and Ancient has been incredible. Uh, they've worked with us uh, on design. They've wanted to do these changes for probably close to 50 years uh, because they were so obvious and, and we've made certain changes to the course. Uh, in addition to that, we fully renovated the course, brand new sprinkler system, the highest level. Um, many of the holes have been uh, jiggered, made even longer, and, and new greens do everything, and yet it's the same Turnberry. Uh, but the hole 9, 10, and 11, and 4, have been changed and moved out into the ocean. Uh, this hole is an example uh, from approximately this area. You would hit over there, this was a par 4 and you'd hit over there and it was a much different thing. Now you're hitting out over the ocean and just to the right of the lighthouse you have a green and a lot of people think this will be the greatest par three anywhere in the world. And then 10 becomes a par five that the golfers know and the members know. I think we have a lot of the members of Turnberry right in the back, the captain and a lot of the members. We appreciate you being here. And we have then uh, number 11 which is a spectacular hole, also a par three, built right on the cliffs. 
and that hole was moved about 200 yards to the left. And Tom Watson saw me, and he won the British Open many times, Peter, many times. And he said five. Uh, he said, uh, what a change. And, you know, he actually thought it was a very uh, easy hole the way it was. But he probably liked it because he would birdie it all the time. But uh, what we've done is uh, is what what everybody's wanted to do for many many decades. Uh, I want to thank uh, Martin Ebert, who has done an incredible job as the architect. And I called up I called up uh, the Royal and Ancient Peter Dawson, who's an amazing man and a great guy and a talented person and loves the sport and loves Scotland. And frankly, I said, who should I use as the architect? And he did me a big favor. He recommended Martin. And so I want to thank you. And I want to thank Peter Dawson, who's here with us now. Peter Dawson headed up the Royal and Ancient for years. And uh, he has been uh, just a great friend. And I thank you for everything, Peter. Your, your recommendations have been incredible. Thank you very much. Uh, my son, Eric, was in charge of the job. I wanted to be really come over here, and Ivanka and Don came with me to congratulate Eric. He was really, we gave him the responsibility of building. The hotel, as you know, was gutted down to the steel and rebuilt. I think it's going to be one of the great hotels of the world. It, it already was, but it was in somewhat dilapidated shape, and we've, we had a choice. We could fix it and paint it, or we could do it the way we did it, and we... Uh, we went back to the original plans. We were able to get the plans from the original architects from many, many years ago. It was 1906. And uh, we went back to those plans, which are magnificent rooms, very big. They were cut in half and all sorts of things happened over the years. And uh, we have something that's very special. It's considered one of the most beautiful buildings in all of golf. I think we can say that, Peter. You know, usually a building, when you have a building on a golf course, that's not an asset. Uh, that's called a liability. Uh, this is one of the buildings where even though it's in the distance when you're in the 18th hole and you're looking down the fairway uh, and you're looking at that building, it's considered one of the great, beautiful and historic sites in golf. As you know, Jack Nicholas won uh, the Open Championship and uh, Tom Watson and, and you know, you have so many great champions. Actually, the greatest, I guess they say one of the greatest tournaments, if not the single greatest tournament in the history of golf. Uh, was the duel in the sun was that 1977 with uh, Tom Watson and Jack Nicholas and that was just birdie 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 everybody else was sort of they weren't in the match right and but these two just kept going wild and that was where Tom <coughs> Watson chipped in from an area that you couldn't even hit the green let alone get it in the hole there was only one way to stop the shot and that's if you chipped it in, and that's what he did and uh, Jack uh, is an incredible sportsman and the way he uh, walked off the course was uh, one of the great scenes in all of golf and uh, Jack Nicholas uh, is a friend of mine and, and a great champion and great champions uh, whether it's Tom Watson or Greg Norman or uh, Nick Price we've had amazing winners uh, at Turnberry and really not only amazing winners for the Open Championship but some of the best tournaments they've ever had so we uh, listened to the Royal and Ancient and we did what uh, they wanted us to do uh, in addition they put in uh, tremendous uh, miles of television cables and everything's underground so it's all ready to go from that standpoint and uh, the town is so happy and so thrilled and the town council who's here and I want to thank you all very much for being here uh, they have been really terrific so again uh, in honor of my mother Mary McLeod and uh, who is a terrific person she came to the United States at the age of 19 she was a beautiful, beautiful woman and a very smart woman, and she met my father, and that was it. And they were married for a long time, and they had a great marriage, and uh, really a great marriage. But in honor of my mother, Mary McLeod, and in honor of my children, uh, Don was very instrumental in buying it. We had uh, the owners were here. They were friends of mine from Dubai, great people, but, you know, this wasn't their thing because they didn't know too much about golf. And they actually felt, why should we move a hole into the ocean when we already have a hole? And I said, well, it's not better. They said, yeah, but it's already there. So, you know, they, they didn't understand the golf thing. Uh, but it always did well. You know, Turnberry, because of its location, because of the fact that you're on the ocean, because it's one of the most spectacular properties in the world, it always did well. 
But now, since we opened, we actually opened a number of weeks ago the course, and we haven't had an empty slot. Peter, you'll be happy to hear this. We haven't had one empty slot. It's from morning till night. It's packed. So it's a special location. That, I don't know. It's just a location. Everybody comes here, whether it's from London or wherever they want to be. They all want to come to Turnberry. And with that, I, I just want to thank a few people. I have to thank Ralph, who uh, the one thing the other owners did, they said, uh, where is Ralph? Ralph, the one thing they said is they said, you have a man named Ralph. He was an assistant manager at that time. And one of the owners who's sort of a friend of mine said, he's the most talented hotel person, hotelier. And they said, you should have him be the manager. And we, we did. We appointed him as the manager, and it's been nothing but great stuff and the hotel opened about two weeks ago and it's been uh, it's been amazing uh, eric did such a good job we've had very few complaints almost no complaints about the rooms usually when a hotel opens you have drains that aren't connected and pipes that aren't connected and water that's spewing through the roofs and all sorts of things we haven't had anything it's it really they did a, done a great job the contractors have done a fantastic job and the hotel is built to the absolute highest standards of luxury and the course is built to the absolute highest standards of tournament golf. And I think there'll be nothing like it. Uh, in one of the reviews, and I think it was Golf Digest in, in the United States, uh, they compared the 14 rotor courses and uh, the 14 all great courses. And that's where they play the Open Championship. And this writer said, Turnberry is number one, but because Trump owns it, I make it at number three. And I said to myself, that's hatred. That's hatred. But I'm used to that with the press. That's okay. I considered it a compliment. I immediately sent that review to the Royal and Ancient. I sent it to Mark. So I just want to thank everybody. Uh, I want to ask uh, perhaps Eric and Ivanka and Don to come forward and say a few words. And again, uh, Ivanka came and Eric said, well, this must be important because Ivanka came, right? <laughs> because she, uh, she's something else. They're all, my, my children have done a great job. And I mean, one of the very important reasons I'm here, not only because we own it and uh, we're gonna cherish it, we're gonna take care of it, one of the great, great places, great resorts of the world, but also because uh, I wanna really support my children. They worked very hard to make this property what it is and what it's now become. Uh, the reviews of the course have been phenomenal, not just like good, even people that truly hate me are saying it's the best they've ever seen. Which is always, to me, Peter, that's always my greatest. When they hate you and they give it a 10, that means you, gotta, you did a good job, right? Uh, but uh, the reviews have been phenomenal and the review, reviews of the hotel have been great. Uh, the hotel is, uh, I didn't even put a mortgage on. We have no debt, no financing, no anything. And I wanted to do that with Turnberry. I don't want to have any financing on Turnberry because it's so special. So. Uh, I just did this out of cash flow, and we just have uh, we have an absolutely zero debt property, and I think it's something that's going to be a great tribute to Scotland uh, and many other places, and also a great tribute to the world of golf for many, many decades to come. So I'll ask Eric in particular, because he built it, but I'll ask Eric and Ivanka and Don to come forward. Thank you all very much. Thank you for being here.